Hello. Today we want to do repeating. We want to talk about repeating. Repeating is normal. Yeah, we repeat uh, breathing. You take the air in. You exhale. Okay. We repeating, sleeping, <laughs> get to work, <laughs> eating. Okay. Now computer, uh, wait for the next instruction and do the job and then wait for the next. Okay, kind of repeating. Okay. And so repeating is quite a norm, quite a normal thing in daily life in machine. Okay. So why do we want the repeating? We already explained it. Right? When we write a program, we do uh, uh, kind of routine uh, repeating job. And uh, we sometimes call the iteration in some text. Okay. And in the computer, um, High level instruction, uh, we kind of use uh, uh, full loop uh, to describe the behavior of it. Uh, for example, okay, this part of the code, maybe a couple lines, you want to do it again and again and again. Okay, okay we will use a full loop. Okay, different language, of course, uh, uh, they written in slightly different, but uh, you can see how, when you are language design, how you, how you do this, how you design this syntax, okay. You may specify, okay, I only want three times or four times, okay, that's very precise if you know, but most of the time you don't know. Uh, how many times you need to do the repeating, right? That's a general case. Okay. And so they must have a condition to check. Okay. Maybe a boolean, uh, a comparison if x uh, less than 5. Okay. You'll do this again and again and again. Okay, so this this kind of part is quite crucial, right? Without it, uh, how do you, how do we make sure the repeating will be end? Okay, uh, so that is the one part, and another part is even imp quite important is some statement in your repeating part block. You need to kind of update. Update. You need to update X, right? Okay. Why? Without changing this X, the X is always the same. You're going to repeat again and again and again, right? Okay. Okay. Let's give us an example. For example, if you X initial value is is ten, they do this. Next time the x still ten. This time still ten. So you are kind of repeating forever. Okay. So in this case, if you uh, update x, uh, if you do this, x x minus one. Okay. Inside the loop. Okay. Next time x will become nine. And do it again. And x will become a until x is 5 but this 5 still the boolean will be true right so we'll do that again and minus 1 x become 4 right 4 in this case let's find that okay i'm not going to serve you any longer <laughs> I, I quit 
Okay. So in this case, they they will kind of jump, jump, jump to uh, out of the loop okay, and continue to do the thing. Okay, this is a uh, uh, pretty much for loop uh, doing. And why do we call it for loop? Uh, sometimes, uh, um, let me generalize it. Okay, uh, we will give a initial condition. Okay, for example, x. Uh, your initial condition is ten. Okay, and you can from this statement. Okay, you kind of know uh, your update. You are repeating how many times? Okay, you kind of precisely in this instruction. And some programming language will put an update. Uh, will do the update automatically for you, uh, but some won't. Be careful about that. Uh, without this, you'll be ending. You'll be forever looping. Okay. In C programming language, uh, we are not talking about a C, but anyhow. Yeah, in C programming language, you will could put the update in the third part of the loop instruction. But let's uh, why people learn programming language. We consult the manual, okay? But the logic, the the the, the idea is similar, okay? Okay, this is a one type of loop, and another type of loop we call a while loop, okay? We just have the same idea while this boolean condition is true and we will we will repeat until uh, it's false okay of course uh, you need to kind of make sure uh, the update part will kind of alter the state of the boolean here otherwise you'll be forever while looping okay yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, in each statement, <laughs> of course, inside of this, you can do anything. You can call another function. You can, you can have another loop. Okay. If that's the case, we call, we call, nesting, uh, nesting, nested loop. Last it means uh, inside one structure you have a, another structure. Okay, nested. Okay, a little bit like a Russian doll. You know, inside it there is a inside it on the kind of nested. Okay, yeah, that's uh, pretty much. You can do the nested uh, way um, to kind of two 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 level loop. Three level loop depends on your algorithm, your design. Okay. Can your loop call another function inside a loop? Call another function? Yes, obviously. So that's about it. Uh, I hope I'm clear enough. Okay. I hope I'm not repeating again and again and again. Okay. It sounds like a teacher. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs>